At a crucial moment like this, it is vital to be clear on principles, starting with the fundamental principle of respecting and protecting civilians. Israel is angry with the United Nations. The UN was established to prevent atrocities, to prevent such atrocities like the barbaric atrocities that the UN is failing. And you, Mr. Secretary General, have lost all morality and impartiality. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres on Tuesday accused Israel of violating international law in Gaza and called for an immediate ceasefire. Israel expressed outrage at the UN chief's remarks ahead of a high-level session of the Security Council. Al Jazeera News. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Gilad Erdin, said the country would stop issuing visas to UN officials. He also said to give education to the United Nations. Gilad Erdin told Army Radio, because of his, UN Secretary General Guterres's, comments, we will not grant visas to UN representatives. We have already cancelled the visa application of UN Emergency Relief Coordinator Martin Griffiths. It's time to teach them, the UN, a lesson. Guterres made the call amid a crisis over Israel's massive bombing of Palestinian territories in response to Hamas attacks and a deeply divided Security Council over the issue. Palestinian Foreign Minister condemns inaction over continued attacks on Gaza. At the start of the session, Guterres said there was no excuse for Hamas's horrendous violence on October 7, but also warned against collective punishment of Palestinians in violation of international law. I am deeply concerned about the flagrant violations of international humanitarian law that we are witnessing in Gaza, Guterres said without specifically naming Israel. Let me be clear, no party to an armed conflict is above international humanitarian law. Guterres also said that the attack by Hamas did not happen without reason. Because the Palestinians are under 56 years of suffocating occupation. His comments angered Israeli Foreign Minister Eli Cohen, who pointed the finger at Guterres and described graphic accounts of civilians, including children, killed in the deadliest single attack in Israel's history. Cohen said, backquote, backquote, Secretary General, Secretary General, what world do you live in? Since Hamas took power, Israel has blockaded impoverished areas and still occupies the West Bank. Israel's ambassador to the United Nations, Gilad Erdin, called on Guterres to step down in a tweet on XA, formerly Twitter. It wrote, the UN chief has expressed an understanding for terrorism and murder. The Hamas-run health ministry said 6,546 people, mostly civilians, had died in the Gaza Strip in retaliatory Israeli bombardment.